Hey everybody, welcome back to Jermaine's Promo, and today I'm going to show you three different ways of having your application shortcuts on your lock screen. The first way is if you wanted to simultaneously unlock your phone and then simply swipe up to the application that you would like to open up. This one is going to be the fastest way. You'll also have the other way, which is by default, your applications on the bottom left and the right. Once you swipe up, it'll open up that application. Then you need to go through and put in your credentials, either your face recognition, uh, fingerprint, as well as the pin. And then I'm gonna show you the other way where you can have many more options along the bottom. Again, you just tap on the icon and then you get inside of your phone and now you have it opened up. So when it first comes down over inside of what is already by default on your phone and what you're able to change, I'm just gonna stick with this middle phone. So first off, all you'd have to do is pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says lock screen. Now inside of the lock screen, this is where you wanna scroll down to where it says shortcuts. Now, if you wanna turn this off, you can simply toggle it off, uh, but this is where you'd be able to choose if you want the bottom corners or if you wanted the floating button. Now again, with the floating button, you have to unlock it with your fingerprint, then you just continue holding it and you swipe it to that application. Now I'm gonna put this one right up over there, which is the way that we already had it. Now with the left shortcut and the right shortcut, this is where you just simply go through and you can choose any application that was pre-installed as well as downloaded from the Play Store. Oh, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy as Promo and you guys appreciate these videos, these tips, tricks, tutorials, updates, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. As of lately and also upcoming, I will be doing a lot for the Galaxy S20 FE as well as Samsung One UI 3.0. So now that I showed you how you were able to do this one here right in the center, now let's move over to the Galaxy A50. And how I was able to get this one done was through an application that is called GoodLock. Now GoodLock is a region locked application. It is one that is made by Samsung for Samsung phones. You'd be able to find it inside of the Galaxy Store. So as long as you're within the regions that offer you GoodLock, just go inside of the Galaxy Store and then at the very top, just search for GoodLock. Now, once you have GoodLock downloaded and installed, uh, the one that you would want to use, let's see that we open this up. Uh, the one that you wanna use is gonna be this one on the very top, it's called Lockstar. So Lockstar is a way that you're able to fully customize your lock screen, make it look however you want. So first off, if you go inside of this uh, edit lock screen, you can go right up inside of here and this is where you can change actually quite a bit. So first off, let's say that you wanted to change where everything is kind of located. So if you wanted your phone to kind of look like this, you can have it look like this. Now, if you want it to be an auto layout, you just tap on auto layout. It'll be able to make it look pretty good for you. Uh, then you'd be able to go inside of your wallpaper. This is where you can choose if you want it to be a different wallpaper in the background. There's actually quite a few options right up over here. Uh, this right over here is gonna be if you wanted to use the wallpaper services or something from your gallery. Now this is actually what I use. I use the wallpaper services. I make sure I turn on the dynamic lock screen and underneath the settings, I select the category and so on and so forth. So then this way you can have your background uh, looking good. Then your next one is gonna be the clock. How do you want your clock to look? You can also change the size of the clock. And then this is where we wanted to get into with the items. When it comes down to the items, actually, let, let me talk about this whole help text. That little help text that says, hey, place your finger on the, the biometrics so you can unlock it. Just turn that one off. The one that you wanna take a look at is gonna be this right here where it says shortcuts. Now you can actually turn everything off this way if you want, but if you turn it on, you're gonna have the default tap it one more time and now it says multiple. So this is actually where you tap right up inside of the screen here. And when you have that multiple, you see those little four little icons. When you tap on that one, this is where you add in those applications. So originally what it'll look like, just to show you, let's say that we, we got rid of all of that. It's just gonna look like this. So you're gonna see those little four dots then you have all these little plus icons. You can have six different icons on the bottom. Now, if you have a different phone, either larger or smaller than this one, this might even say five or it'll say six. So this is just where you wanna go through, tap on those, those applications that you know that you're gonna use a lot. So maybe your email, Duo, uh, and then let's also do messages, the camera. So now we have two more. I mean, honestly, 
most of these two or four up here is something that I use all the time, maybe the calculator. So really you're kind of, you're grabbing everything. Now the nice thing about this one is that there is six that you can choose from. And honestly, I probably use six applications daily, uh, something that I use all the time. I, there might be a day where I use more, but it doesn't mean that I use them every single day. So these are the ones that I'm gonna choose. And then you just simply hit on apply. And then you wanna go up here on the very top and then you hit on save. Just make sure that you toggled on this lock star. If you did not toggle this on, it will not be activated. And so now all you gotta do is that the next time that you go inside of your lock screen, it's gonna look like this. And you tap right there, tap on whatever you wanna open up, put in your credentials, and then now you're running and launching the application. Now, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.